McDonald's, they're losing their low income and middle income customer base. People just, they're not paying $18 for a Big Mac meal. And that is what McDonald's is charging at some of its locations. Now, why is McDonald's, why are they doing this? Well, they're actually reacting to economic policy and to inflation. See, this is what happens when you take these Looney Tune unicorn leftist economic ideas out of the faculty lounge, which is the only place that they should exist, and you put them into the real world. Every time you do that, you see a result that actually ends up making the situation worse. Case in point. If you're anything like me, you like to be surrounded by a snack or two while watching the big game. You know, when buying snacks for the game, you might have noticed one thing. Sports drinks bottles are smaller. A bag of chips has fewer chips, but they're still charging it just as much. And as an ice cream lover, what makes me the most angry is that ice cream cartons have actually shrunk in size, but not in price. I've had enough of what they call shrinkflation. It's a ripoff. Some companies are trying to pull a fast one by shrinking the products little by little and hoping you won't notice. Give me a break. The American public is tired of being played for suckers. I'm calling on companies to put a stop to this. Let's make sure businesses do the right thing now. So in California, they raised the minimum wage for fast food workers to $20 an hour, okay? But at $18 a Big Mac meal, how many people working in the McDonald's can afford to actually eat there? Here's what the thing is. Here's what the, the real deal is. You know who wins when minimum wages increase? Not the worker. Who wins is the federal government in the form of getting some more tax money. Local governments also win, that income tax, right? and unions because they get to hire uh, folk and then get a cut of the money be, uh, in the form of union dues. But meanwhile, you're there. I worked at McDonald's as a teenager. And uh, back then, well, you really didn't have to afford the food because they would give you a free lunch. Um, and we were kids. You know, we burned that stuff off within a half an hour of eating it. But somewhere along the line, and I'm not saying this is wrong, but somewhere along the line, there was a notion that was kind of pumped into the American psyche that McDonald's, Burger King, fast food jobs were adult jobs. And they're not, all right? There was no illusion held by me or anyone else that I worked with at McDonald's as a teenager that this was a viable career choice uh, into our futures, okay? I worked there, and uh, when I graduated high school, I left and started a job at the college that I worked at. So here we are, okay? $18 Big Mac meals, $6 hash browns. You know what to do. Head to the grocery store and make your own food. Would you like sticker shock with that? Thanks to Bidenomics, low-income folks are ditching not-so-happy meals as dining at McDonald's is out of their price range. Facing astronomically high food cost. Okay, now how do we get there? We put a lot of money out on the street uh, and we then, you know, for the 2020 debacle and then we just kept on spending. Uh, we're, you know, up in the neighborhood of 800 billion a month, uh, a quarter now, 800 billion or more, almost a trillion dollars each quarter is what we've been spending for the last two years. So um, inflation, food inflation in particular is how we got here. You see it at the grocery store. McDonald's got to buy food too, right? So that's what they're seeing. So astronomically high food cost. The chain, McDonald's, prices skyrocketed 10% in 2023 with a Big Mac combo meal setting customers in some areas back $18. Hikes this year are set to run another 2 to 3%. Now, did you get a 10% raise or did you get a 12% raise so you can take care of, you know, that inflation that's built into that McDonald's meal now? No, you probably didn't. But it's not just the eateries prices keeping customers home. With inflation still stinging Americans, regardless of what the numbskulls at the White House say, because they don't understand the economy. Diners who make less than $45,000 a year, historically the chain's bread and butter clientele, are spending less on eating out. And there's only so much the McDonald's C-suite, uh, the executives, can do. 
What are they doing? Listen, I know we've all had a house burger. Have you ever had that incident when you were a kid and said, Mommy, I want to go to McDonald's. And she said, we got food at home. And she would go home and she would chop up some onions and she would shape that beef patty and 80-20, okay? Fry that sucker up in a cast iron frying pan. Take two pieces of white bread, piece of nuclear yellow craft American cheese. Boom, okay? And you got to admit, that tasted 10 times better than a McDonald's anything, all right? I still have a house burger every now and then. I make it up just like my mother used to. So that's what people are doing, all right? They're they're saying, can't do it. Can't, you know, I, McDonald's food isn't even good a half hour after they bring it out. You know, it's made to be eaten hot, okay? The fries are garbage half an hour in, sometimes sooner than that. So you got to eat it there in the restaurant if you want it to be perfect or in your car. Okay, I sit there in the car, listen to talk radio and eat my McDonald's Big Mac meal occasionally. I have like uh, four. I have this meal four times a year. Uh, inflation and other progressive policies are a perfect storm for higher cost. Individual stores are owned by franchisees who must take local factors into consideration when setting prices. So a quarter pounder will put a bigger dent in your wallet in ultra blue states like Massachusetts, Vermont, California, and New York, okay? That's not by accident. These are the policies that are causing this to happen. Uh, these are places where the left have successfully bumped up the minimum wage. Also, during that whole fight for 15 thing, I was out there saying, look, I don't like this whole, I don't like the nomenclature, minimum wage. You should be doing everything in your power to fight for a maximum wage, okay? To say, you know, Hey, I want to make as much money as I can because we've all worked wage jobs in the past, right? And we all know that at some point, quickly, after you get a raise, you soon find out it's not enough, okay? So, you know what I'm going to say, multiple streams of income, opening a business that you're passionate about will give you an unlimited earning potential, right? California has boosted the minimum wage 20 to 20 dollars an hour. So fast food will no longer be cheap there. Oh, and the left is pushing nationally for laws that treat workers at franchise franchises as if they work for the national corporation. An upending of the business model that'll further goose prices and potentially close hundreds of outlets. So there we go, double whammy. These policies, I tell you, they always result in higher prices, lost jobs. We did the video about how defunding the police and bail reform has caused a business exodus in Oakland and other places throughout uh, the nation. Happens every time, but we just don't learn because, quite frankly, we got a lot of people who, again, don't understand the economy and don't have the gumption don't have the balls or the fallopian tubes to say to their constituents, this is not going to work out how you think it is. Okay, so let me explain to you what will happen. And then you can tell me if you really still are in favor of whatever this initiative is. The other thing is progressives love to destroy economic mobility. And so... I know when I was working at McDonald's, there was a an assistant manager there who was working his way up through what they called Hamburger University. And the goal was to one day own one or more of these McDonald's stores. Now, I lost track of that guy. I don't know what happened to him. I hope that he achieved his goal and then some. Uh, but he was telling me that he started out, you know, just like I did, washing dishes, Okay, first day I came into McDonald's, he told me, um, I forget that guy's name. He said, hey, look, take a bucket, scrub brush, scrub the uh, baseboards of the store. We had to have a clean store, right? This is what people are eating. And so I said, sure. And uh, knocked that out. And from there, the sky was the limit. I moved up and I made dishwasher. Oh, I fried plenty of uh, hamburgers myself. So guys, look, that's what's going on. You want to talk about food inflation, an $18 Big Mac? A lot of people that can afford that. I'm sure a lot of you can afford it, but you're saying there's no way 
Ain't no way I'm doing that. In fact, at that price, you're going to say, all right, fine. That's just $2 away from me going to a more healthy option, okay, and getting a meal or a uh, option that's probably not fast food. So we'll see what happens. We'll continue to monitor it. Look, in terms of businesses being in trouble, now what's happening with Boeing is through their own making. Watch this video. Do not board a Boeing 737 MAX airplane until you watch this. Guys, I'll talk to you soon.